So I presume that the inclusion of this detail is the result of either the peer review process or perhaps the result of the authors themselves just thinking and looking a bit more deeply into their data so they realised that there was such a distinct difference in the effectiveness when the influenza activity was high versus when it was not. Now back to the study. Results. Among 53,402 employees, 43,920 or 82.2% were vaccinated by the end of the study. Influenza occurred in 1,130 or 2.12% during the study. The cumulative incidence of influenza was similar for the vaccinated and unvaccinated states early. But over time, the cumulative incidence of influenza increased more rapidly among the vaccinated than among the unvaccinated. In a multivariable Cox proportional hazards regression analysis, the risk of influenza was not significantly different during periods when influenza activity was low or medium. They do provide the numbers in the study with 95% confidence intervals for anyone that's interested in the details but was significantly higher for the vaccinated state than the unvaccinated state when influenza activity was high. And again, they provide you with the numbers. Conclusions. This study was unable to find a protective influence of influenza vaccine among working-aged adults among the 2024-25 respiratory viral season and found that influenza vaccination was associated with a higher risk of influenza when influenza activity was high.